You are welcome to online lectures with Fametanity, the school boy. Today we are going to take a look at primary health care. And we have a question on the board. The question says, in which of the following conditions can CPR be used? A. Sprain B. Bleeding C. Fracture D. Cardiac arrest. For us to be able to answer this question, we need to know the meaning of CPR. What CPR stands for? CPR stands for Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation. Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation is an emergency procedure that is used for, for, for patients or individual that, 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 um, whose heart stopped working or stopped beating and, uh, and who also stopped breathing or gasping for air. So if someone, you notice that someone has stopped, someone's heart has stopped beating and uh, the person also has stopped breathing, this procedure should be carried out immediately within the first few minutes because if nothing is done within the first few minutes, the person may die. Okay, so CPR, CPR can be done, we have the one that we, we call hands on, we have the one you, 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 breathe, you breathe through the person's mouth. So without wasting time, for us to answer this question, we need to look at the options. I will not go deep into CPR because CPR is a different topic on its own. So that, that's a topic for another day. I will bring out CPRs, then we we'll treat it. I will make, make it a full lecture. But for the purpose of answering this question, let's look at the options. The first option says spraying. What is spraying? Spraying is nothing but a, it's a, it's a condition whereby the, the ligament the ligament joining the, the, the bones and the joints is stretched or completely torn. So if the, if the ligament is torn or stretched, that condition is called what? Sprain. It can, it can be an emergency condition. It, 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 can, it can be an emergency condition. But it doesn't require CPR, no. CPR is basically for the lungs and the hearts. So I won't take this, even though it's emergency, it can be emergency, but I won't take it. Then bleeding. Bleeding is also an emergency situation. And, but I will not take it, 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 it doesn't require CPR. Fracture. What is fracture? We know fracture. Fracture is nothing but maybe partial or complete break of what? The bone. Of a bone. So, even though it can be emergency, but it doesn't require CPR. Then, cardiac arrest. What is cardiac arrest? I want to make a, a very important point here. Please, don't miss, don't mistake cardiac arrest for heart attack they are not the same thing heart attack cardiac arrest they are not the same thing heart attack is specifically it has to do with uh, heart attack heart attack has to do with uh, block or blockage of blood supply to the heart. So if blood supply to the heart is blocked, it can lead to a heart attack. 
is not the same thing with cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest has to do with inability of the heart to supply blood to other parts of the body. So it, uh, it has to do with cardiac output specifically. So if the heart stops beating, that means it cannot pump blood to the other parts of the body. So that is cardiac arrest. It's not the same thing with heart attack. Even though if heart attack is not well managed, it can lead to what? Cardiac arrest, yes. If heart attack is not well managed, because if the blood supply to the heart is blocked for a long time and is not treated, the heart will not be in good condition to pump blood. And if the heart fails to pump blood, what it means is that we enter the day, it will lead to what? Cardiac what? Arrest. So heart attack and cardiac arrest are not the same thing, even though heart attack can lead to what? Cardiac arrest. So for CPR, cardiac arrest is CPR it can be used for emergency treatment of what? Management of what? Cardiac arrest. You know, you know, I don't want to go into the process, but let me just say one, is on, on her song. Yeah, now the hand, you, 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 it, 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 it has to do with com applying compression on the chest, you know, with the hand. About 100 to 120 pushes, you know. There is this, um, there, there, there is this song, um, and uh, this, this thing, I, according to American Heart Association, they target staying alive. You know, as you are compressing, as you are compressing, the compression should be a, a, about 100 to 120 pushes per minute. So they want it to be like, it should rhyme with the, with, as you are compressing it, each of the, 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 the push, the, 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 the pushing should rhyme with the beats of the song. Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. As you push, so they should rhyme. So you have up to 120 of this, 100, 100 to 120 of these pushes per minute. Now, of course, when, a, when, a, when a, you notice that somebody, and how do you even know that somebody is, I'm going to CPR, I don't want to go into this. But let me just say, how do you know that somebody is has cardiac arrest? The person will remain unresponsive. The person will remain will be unresponsive. The person will not even be breathing or be gasping for air. In that situation, you don't need to. In fact, call ambulance immediately. You know, then if you have if you have access to AED, you can look for AED. Is is the portable machine that when place on the heart can you know can introduce electrical impulse that will you know help the heart to come back again so why you send for this and they call the ambulance you start the push immediately the the hands on you start immediately without wasting time and, and as, as you are doing it as you push you push the chest down you should come up to the level, initial level it was before you push again. So this is what you keep doing until, until professionals, trained professionals in CPR or even a blast comes. Even as you are conveying the person, the person to the hospital, be doing it until you get the what? The, the AED. As case may be. So that is what happens in what CPR, but this is for what the one you, are, you apply use hand to do, not the one we you, you breathe into the, the person's what mouth. So now from the from the options now, it's clear that CPR is used for what cardiac arrest and not for spray, not for bleeding, not for fraction, cardiac arrests. So the answer to this question is cardiac arrest. Thank you very much for your attention. Please, if you have any question, feel free to chat me up on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp line is on the screen. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
My channel name is for Eternity the School Boy. Subscribing to YouTube channel is very easy and is free of charge. All you need to do is to go to YouTube, search for for Eternity the School Boy, watch my lectures, then click on the red button, written subscribe. Then by the side of the red button, you see a bell. Click on that bell. That bell is a notification bell. If you click on it, anytime we post a new lecture, you'll be notified. Please, there is something I'm, I do every month, every first Saturday of the month, is an academic competition. The purpose is to help our students, help our children to, you know, to pursue academic excellence. It will help them to read and to prepare themselves. Now, the, the, I thought it academic battle with from a talented school board. It's an online competition. It's free of charge. You're not paying anything. And the winners go home with prizes. You can write it anywhere, any part of the world. You, I can write the exam. All you need to do is just to have, have internet facility and uh, have, um, have a bank account where your money, your prize can be transferred to you if you emerge the winner or among, if you are among the winners. So it's free of charge. I encourage uh, all the students out there to, you know, participate in this. If you want to participate, chat me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp line is on the screen. I'll send you the link for registration. It's free of charge. Then we also need sponsors because the prizes to be given to the winners are donations from people. Please, if you are interested, if you are touched, if you want to motivate our children to pursue academic excellence, please feel free to chat me up. I'll send him, I'll send you account details where you can transfer the money. Any amount we go along with helping us achieve this. All right. The one that is coming up in January 2023, 7th January, Saturday, 7th January, is that mathematics battle 3.0 with Fermentanity, the school boy. Feel free. To chat me up so you can register or sponsor for this okay all right uh, please like my videos comment share my videos share with your friends share with your colleagues share with your children share with your students someone out there may need these lectures once again once more thank you very much for your attention god bless you see you next time.